So today is the, the sixth round of the, the GXCC here we are in Coltonville. Run 5 was my first race back from, from February. Uh, I won my class and I don't know where I came over all. First race on a motor pro and I loved it. It was an excellent race. Yeah, no, last round was, uh, was good. Uh, all the riders finished. So I need, to, to us, that's the, the biggest thing. As long as they finish, there's no pressure on them to go out and win and take podiums. Another one of the winter rounds, conditions were going to be key. Dust was again a talking point. Very important, if you don't get all short, your stuff's in the dust today. The dust is hanging even on the junior, so all short is very, very important. Looking at the whole shot, it was very clear this morning. As the first quad started, the first row, I specifically looked at what Hannes Simon, who came out third, and on the back straight, he was just sitting in dust. So if you don't get the whole shot yet today, you're going to be sitting in dust and it's going to be a long, tough day to try and pass. Uh, it's dangerous to try and pass in the, in the dust. With the busy race season and real life getting in the way, it's hard to find that time to go training between the races. You know, nowadays it's so damn busy, you don't actually get the time to go and practice as much as you should be. Um, so looking forward to the race, uh, but the last time I swung my leg over a bike was at the National in Lesotho uh, two weeks ago, three weeks ago. So yeah, I'm going from race to race. Hopefully the fitness is still there. Um, but I must admit, you know, when it's dusty like this, I don't take chances. I take it easy in the dust. So uh, let's see how the day goes. Hopefully for, you know, there'll be a little bit of wind to push the dust away and then, and then we can chase. With the whole shot being all important, what happens and where can you make up time if you happen to not pop out the hole in first? Uh, probably through the corners. The bike sticks in the corner. Like I said last time, it's absolutely super fast through the corner. Teamwork and fast pit stops can make or break a race. It would once again be the case here today. Honestly, if it wasn't for them, I couldn't be doing what I'm doing today. And like I said last, I will support them as long as I can and try to make them proud as long as I can. But to have a proper team behind you is very important. Fast pit stop is very important. If you can win a race or lose a race in a pit stop. Uh, the faster, the better. The sooner you can get out, the better for you. So yeah, pit stops is always fast and important. Black Iron working with Moto Pro, it's been a development season in 2019. Yeah, look, what we're trying to do is see how the bike compares against the 01 Pro class, timing wise, and then we'll probably see next year where we're gonna end up. Well, I'm looking for Clans to win. It's always lucky to have a win. Uh, I think I can do it. I'll try my best, but probably podium top three, most definitely. Gambling to start way on the outside of the gate didn't pay off this time around for Juan. He was going to have to make his way through traffic and, more importantly, through the scary, dangerous dust this time around. He still popped out at the end of the whole shot queue inside of the top five, but he was going to be busy. Over on the seniors' gate, Vian has got that recluse clutch absolutely dialed in. He once again popped out of the hole inside of the top five and looked like he was going to have a good run. There was a story to tell at the end of this race, believe me, because eventually Vian saw clear air. The massive story coming into play for Vian at the end of the Coltonville event was a top step, his first ever GXCC win and senior category, top of the step. One happy Vian Duplessis. Now, as we discussed it this morning, whole shot is really important. Unfortunately, that didn't go my way. Uh, ended up going fourth through the first corner. And um, at the very first split where you go off to the quad loop or the full senior loop and also the, the junior loop, I noticed Bruce Fulhoun, uh, obviously one of the best riders in our class, uh, went off on the junior loop and I thought, no, this can't be. Big mistake for him. So I just started pushing as hard as I can and I managed to catch up the, the other guys uh, in the first loop 
um, and I just pushed, pushed, and managed to uh, go out on the on the second loop, uh, leading the race, uh, and just kept it there the whole way. But uh, yeah, every time you turn, you look over your shoulder to see where's Bruce, because I know the guy's fast and he's uh, he's coming for me. But uh, yeah, thank goodness uh, I managed to finish just before he could catch me. <laughs> yeah, it was one of those days. I had a not a too bad start. I think I went out fifth or sixth. I caught up, I came in first lap about two minutes ahead of the second guy. Uh, unfortunately, on the second lap I had a big crash, high speed crash. I broke my rear brake lever, we changed it, I lost about three spots. I caught up, I passed two guys on my third lap and then the clutch went. I've got neutral plus six, six more neutrals, so yeah, that's how my day went. Today's pit stops was phenomenal, you know, every time we're talking about the pit stops and how great that is, but uh, today, before I could even rip my goggles off and put new ones on and uh, take a sip of water, the guys are finished with uh, refueling, they were, they were beating me on the pit stops today, that was really good and uh, yeah, obviously that helps. Um, when I came in after the first lap, I was uh, just second. The guy that was ahead of me was like 20 seconds ahead of me. And uh, because of a good fuel stop, um, as I went through the, the rest of the pits, I saw him, they were still busy refueling him. So refueling, you know, the quicker, the better, and that's what, what helps you to actually to get the win. The end of the first lap, uh, it was very fast. When I finished my drink, the bike was full and I went out again. Second lap, we struggled with the brake lever to get it out of the frame back into the bike, out of the spare bike into that bike. So yeah, it was a struggle, but we did it. Like I said, I managed to ca catch up again, but yeah, unfortunately, it happened, it's racing. <laughs> Machine development for 2019, coming back from an injury and unfortunate mechanical this time around, but the pace is definitely there for Juan. This time around though, the man on the top step with a bigger smile coming away from the event, our very own Vian Duplessis takes his first win of the 2019 season. Stay with us next week on Black Iron Racing TV as we bring you the highlights from our ladies coming out of the Coltonville GXCC.